Wagwam, wagwam, people, dems. Um, so this is a. Oh, sorry, my name's Luke. <laughs> I keep forgetting to say my name on these videos. Um, so th if this is the first time you've come to my channel, welcome to Room Two Seven Zero Three. Um, this is a space basically for me to enjoy well all the things that I love. So music, anime, movies, TV series, um, and just my little carve out of the internet to kind of talk about that with people that love those things too. So uh, reactions, reviews. Um, I'm ho I'm trying to catch up with stuff, <laughs> but I'm so far behind. <laughs> I'm so far behind. So I always enjoy people watching with me. Um, so thank you if you are. Um, so I started doing a Stan Walker, bit of dive into Stan Walker, um, because I'd seen him react. Well, I'd reacted to him performing um, Kanye West's uh, Ultra Light Beam, and I was like, who the heck? is this <laughs> who is this man um and since then i've just really enjoyed everything that comes out of his mouth like he just seems like a really humble really lovely person I mean, and look i'm saying this not knowing him obviously personally but it is pretty telling that when other people who've obviously followed him for a long time um have seen my reaction videos to him are all singing the same hymn sheet that he is a really decent human with an extraordinary talent and um, been through a lot do you know what I mean and still shining so um, I was like before I dive and I know he's just come out with um, another new performance of I Am Live which I'm desperate to watch there's that and there's I Surrender that are in my um, uh, to watch list there's lots of songs but those are the two that I, I'm itching to get to but I don't want to watch them until I've finished the American Idol stuff so um, I didn't realise there were so many performances that he did either there's loads so whoever put this together God bless you ma'am or sir <laughs> or neither <laughs> um, so this is him performing Purple Rain um, now I've only just started reacting to Prince um, and getting into him obviously I know Purple Rain and I feel that Purple Rain is one of those songs which is a really, I don't know, like, I, I think you've either got to be ex just so extraordinary, yeah, that you even decide to take that song on. Um, because it, it, it's just really big, well, technically really small boots to fill because Prince was a small man. But his talent was ginormous, do you know what I mean? Like, so to take that song on, you've got to... So I'm nervous about this one because... It's not everyone's purple rain that I enjoy, but let's have a look. Let's have a look and see, because this is, this is staying. So let's see. I'm singing Purple Rain by Prince. I'm a bit of a Prince fan, and it's really in my genre too. I never meant to cause you any sorrow. It's got to make sure that's clear, you know. Yeah. I never meant to cause you. I never meant to cause you pain. He was sort of tripping over the words. You're reaching out, you're telling somebody something. I never meant to cause you. I never You've got to have enough breath so I that it's very clear what you're saying. I never meant to cause you any sorrow. Do you feel you have like a relationship mm. with the audience that's there? I don't know, I just, I try and picture it as my family. Just kind of just relate to them as best as I can. Wonderful. I think. I only Good advice. Want one time. To see you now, does this song actually mean anything to you? I reckon it's a lot about mm -hmm. me and my mum and, you know, my family, even like past relationships and stuff like that. Well, The Purple Rain is all about the power of music as a redemptive force. He understands what the song's about because that's the context he used. I want to sing songs that just hit your heart. That's what I want, people to feel it and not hear it. Mm. I think this week is going to be my biggest challenge because this is my sort of genre. 
and I think I'm going to have to step it up even more than I ever have before. I mean, even that little bit, I just heard that that was raining. so long to hear someone that do this song cool. on Idol. Tonight's finally the night. Singing Purple Rain from Prince Stan Walker. I'm so nervous. I wanted to cause you in your sorrow. I never meant to cause you any pain. Mm. I only want one time to see you laughing. Mm. I only want me to see you laughing in the purple rain. Purple rain, purple rain. Mm. The head. You wanna sing, Stan? You wanna sing? Honey, I know, I know, I know time will change it. Time will reach out for something new. Let me guide you to that purple rain. Purple rain. By far his best one for me personally. The best one. The best performance I've seen of him so far. Wow. 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 18. <laughs> Over here, over here, over here. That's how you win a competition. You know, that was sensational. It was a moment. And you know, I didn't hear it. I felt it, brother. Yeah. Thanks, Phil. Thank you. Wow. It's funny because you're a bit of a giggle monster backstage, like you're not taking this seriously. But the thing is, you make this, this whole thing seem so simple for one reason. I think you hardwire your heart to every song that you sing and it's effortless and it's fantastic. Thank God for Stan Walker. Thank you. Thank you I'm still getting chills. That was so incredibly good. You know, I'm just, just really glad that I, I'm doing this week. That was... Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was like coming out into the heavyweight arena and just knock out punch. You've got something that a lot of people don't have and that's a natural ability to improvise. You hear the notes in your, your head that other people don't hear. And there are a couple notes there that I couldn't describe other than they were stand notes, you know, that nobody else could do. And... He's not lying. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Gold star. Oh, listen. You know, Stan, that, w that was the bomb, okay? That was the bomb. Also, I want to say to you, I just think it's so cool when any singer is game enough to stand up there and sing a cappella, honey. Yeah. At the end of that, you sang yeah. a cappella so beautifully, and yeah. some of your high yeah. notes were just so on. You love doing what you're doing, and that's what shows. Well done. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Hi, Mike. 
Yeah. Cool. There's a moment, Stan. I mean, for for folks watching, there's there's about 800 people in here, and it's pretty loud. It's pretty nuts. When I introduced you, there was a moment where you just stopped for a sec. What happens in that moment before you start singing? I know. I just got to give it up and humble myself. Well, it works, Dan. It works. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> you know what? I am... Um... Okay, just to stop, just stop talking for a second, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Um, so, I was reading some of the comments on um, my last part one of looking at the idol um, performance journey. And um, one of the um, commenters had said that um, they were really, really enjoying um, kind of being taken back down memory lane. And I was like, thank you so much for like... Uh, for watching with me, that's so awesome. Um, and they were saying that I'd be really great if, like, you know, to, just as an idea for, for them, maybe not to do it with the judges' comments. Um, and I think the, the reason I'm still happy, because usually I don't, I don't tend to watch judges' comments too often. If I'm going, like, say, back down memory lane, for example, I don't really bother. Like, but when it's the first time of me watching something, I am intrigued just to hear what they said and what was said at the time. Um, and I am really glad to listen to the feedback that they gave because, uh, well, it's going to be one of two things. I'm either going to agree with them or I'm not. And like for the majority of what I've heard so far on this journey, I've, I have agreed with, but there's been some very standout things I didn't agree with. But with this, like, <sighs> I'll be honest, especially to some of the last ones that are probably a little bit more like rock indie heavy and stuff. Maybe because that's just not really my bag. Like I, it, it didn't it didn't float my boat that much. Even though I knew that he's, you know, he was amazing in terms of like how he sung it. It just it wasn't really my thing. But that nervousness that I had listening to him or the, preparing to listen to him sing Prince was completely eroded. Pretty much two point five seconds into him singing, it was just. You've got you've you've got to take on, on, into account the fact that this guy's eighteen at this point, which to me is still a baby, right? You are still, you know, I'm not saying there's not so many things. You know, there's so many things he obviously saw in his life and things he went through that were quite dark and upsetting and stuff. So it's not to say that, but you still, in terms of how long you've been on the planet, like it's just not that long. And that kind of song that has got, like he said, that, that it, it's vocal redemption, it's musical redemption. I want to see you laughing and bathing in the purple rain, like, you know, and for him to have been able to connect that to not just what he was talking about with his mum and the things he's been through, but being able to do that with an audience and me in the UK, however many years later, is nuts. Like, he didn't just take on the song. He did it in his own way, and it still soared. And this is what I'm saying. There are people that take on Prince, and it's just... Oh, I don't like that. Um, but I loved every bit of it. I loved all the... Yeah, like even the arrangement, but considering as well that it was only, what, like, 90 seconds long or something. It wasn't even that long. But what he managed to cram into that time frame was just sick and then like um the lady said when he finished that when, with the acapella part <sighs> i got chills all over everywhere even my toes <laughs> even my toes that was sick that was so 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 good definitely the best performance i've seen that he's done so far in this whole journey amazing um okay so the next one on here is in making the top six. So this is We Will Rock You. And it looks like Liza Minnelli is giving some advice. So um, I don't know much about Liza Minnelli. Um, but I, I, I know that she obviously did Broadway and stuff. Um, so I feel like she played someone called Roxy. I don't know where I've got that from. I might be completely wrong. Um, but anyway, let's see what, what, what advice she's giving him. What you gonna say? Um, we Will Rock You. But if you're a boy, make a big noise playing in the street. Gonna be a big man someday. Come on, who's we? All the people like me, <laughs> the survivors. <laughs> and who are you singing to? All the people that said I couldn't do it and mm -hmm. we couldn't make it and, and try to box me up. We will, we will rock you. Okay, let's work on just that stanza. You gotta see who you're talking to, but you have to find somebody you need to help. 
That's what rock means. We're gonna help you. We're gonna rock you out of this rut. We will, we will. Well, she was commanding my attention and commanding my focus. And when you say we will, we will rock it. Find it. Find something that you can do that will that will say, listen, we're gonna help you. You gotta step into the comfort zone of the character you're playing. And I was just like, oh, that's, okay. oh yeah, that's so cool. I think Stan will be fine. You know, I really do. He's uh, got good energy and he's very smart. The title track from very We Will things. Rock You. Get ready for Stan Walker. Hell, the rock. I've never thought that. Come on. Put it on, boy, make a big noise. Playing in the street, gonna be a big man someday. I didn't love that one as much, but it was still good. It was still good. We made some dis dis some choices on there, um, but the sound of his Stan, voice is Stan, still Stan. so good. Can I, can I, before I say anything, can I just say, say band? Wow, that was amazing. Yeah. Round of applause for the band. Hmm. Okay. You know, and I say that because. What you did there, and I hope people really realize this, you brought R&B to rock. You made that your own, and you really, it's just flourished. It's Stan, and wow, 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 wow. Well done. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Definitely a soulful version of that song. You have got such an immense imagination. You, you really take all these different genres and make them your own. Also, I've got to say, Dave Pritchard and the band, you took a rock record and made it ghetto fabulous. Thank awesome, you. awesome job. Well Thank done. You, well, you did it. Yes. You absolutely did it. You had everything you wanted to do. And you had enormous help from that incredible orchestration and those musicians and singers, my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like a, it was, it was a powerhouse coming at us and you were leading it. Thank you, you were wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Stan, you, you said something earlier in your piece when Liza was teaching you about people boxing you up. Ain't nobody ever gonna box you up, my mm, brother. That's right. Well done. <laughs> well done. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, buddy. Oh, you're so sweet. So, I think for me, I think the reason that it probably didn't, like, oh my gosh. I guess this is the problem you have played this year because you just want to play the next one. Um, I think for me, I think... Um, Maybe I heard it again. Like the, the bit that I did like, I really did like the um, the end the end part. The we will, we will, we will, we. Like I really liked that. Um, and I think his runs. I think 
again were really good like i like this this just the sound of his voice i think is great um i just don't know whether i loved the arrangement of this as much respect the creative choices 100 percent, because if you don't make some creative choices then you are just doing same same so i respect that um but it didn't feel as cohesive to me personally um as say purple rain did with the creative choices he made there um that's always just a personal thing because they clearly loved it and i'm sure everyone else did too so that's just much that's, that's just a me thing i think um but i think what is evident though and I think this is very clear in everything he sings, is he's going to stanify it, whether it's rock, whether it's... Because obviously he's a big fan of Beyonce, isn't he? And I'm sure at this time, had had she done, had or should, should I say she, her, Pink and Britney, had they done the Pepsi commercial? Where they did that kind of r and well, they did, they did three versions, they did the, the Britney pop version, the r and Beyonce version, and then the um, Rocky a uh, pink version um so i wonder if he got any inspiration from that but uh his voice is is just it's at this point he to me would have been a winner anyway like he would have been top three at the at the very least because you, your voice is just it's, it's just so the quality of it is just so there that it, that's that's kind of undeniable so um yeah really really good okay so the next one is him singing the circle of life. So I, I let into a little secret, yeah. The Lion King. Lion King and Aladdin are, are like my favourite Disney movies, like favourite. Um, and The Circle of Life, I've seen uh, The Lion King in theatres um, twice now. Um, and each time when this song comes on, I'm just like, oh my God, it's amazing. I love this song. I remember when Jennifer Hudson did Circle of Life on American Idol and she absolutely smashed it. So the, again, this is a big song like for me um but i i think he's gonna smash it i think he's gonna smash it well clearly he does because he goes on to win the show <laughs> it's a big night tonight we're being joined by a very special guest judge liza minnelli she's just over there for the first time ever our idols are performing songs from the stage and screen the idols are performing two songs oh. from broadway one from hollywood stan walker is singing elton john's a circle of life from the film the white lion king take it away stan this is the same night, okay. From the day we were on the planet Already And blinking, step into the sun There's more to see than can ever be seen Boy can sing anything. He can sing anything. Wow. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Is that his mom? Stan, get your microphone. Hey, listen, Stan, um, I, I believe Go Stan! <laughs> I believe that um, you've been wanting to sing that song a long time. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, yeah, man. And you know, it sounded like it, you know, it started the whole thing and I just got 
chills, mm. you know. I'm starting to work out that I think you're probably one of the most versatile singers mm. that we've had on Idol because you're not scared of anything. You don't be scared of anything. You hear me, Stan? Well done. Thank you. You hear her? Well done. You hear her? <laughs> well, Stan, I thought you were wonderful. I thought you were wonderful. I thought you believed what you were singing. Uh, I could have used a little more body movement in your uh, in your belief system, um, but uh, on the whole, you sang the hell out of it. Mm. You really did. Good going. Good going. I thought his body was okay. I, I believed what he was doing. All right, Mister Over here. You give me rock, you give me pop, you give me soul. Now you're giving me musical theatre. Yeah. Is there anything you can't do? <laughs> I'm just asking, because at this point I'm thinking, God, this guy's a star. <laughs> <laughs> Stan, you know I love you, and I thought you got there in the end. I would have to say the first half of it, it was like wading through custard. I thought you sounded like you were slowed down. It was like at the wrong speed. You got there in the end, but I don't think you can afford to throw away the beginning of a song. But hey, Kuna Matata, mate. I don't agree with that. How many times did you have to watch that film when your kids were little? Yeah, Only about 1,500 times a week. If you want to keep movie. Stan in the... See, I, I disagree with both of... Um, Liza, both Liza and um, and that man, because I feel like it, I, I thought it was all about building. Like that song, when you watch that song, it's all very much building to something, and you, you especially when you watch it in the theatre. Like it, it takes its time, you know. The, the, to me, the pacing of that was absolutely perfect. Like and that build up because you don't want everything to be all up there. You want it to kind of like build and get to that point and mean something. I don't know, I can't speak for myself, but as, a, as someone who's a big, big, big fan of that film and a big, big fan of that song, um, I, I, I would feel as though that I'm a, I'm a, I'm a good judge of, of, of whether it was a, a good rendition or not. And for me, he absolutely smashed that. Like absolutely smashed it. I thought it was great. I thought it was really well paced. It sounded amazing. Um, and there was a lot of conviction that I saw on his face. I, d I don't necessarily think that, you know, because Liza Minnelli is obviously a, a huge star. Like, so, you know, who am I to kind of, you know, come against her opinion? But I don't think everything has to be all over the shop. But I think you can command a space. Look at Lauren Allred. Lauren Allred isn't someone that's it's, it's moving on over the place and doing the most or whatever. But she doesn't need to because the conviction comes from her voice, her poise, her facial expressions, like, you know, I, I, he, there were some arms, there were some hands, I, I don't know what they were talking about. Anyway, I loved it. Um, so the next one is him singing Hallelujah. <laughs> now, I don't know whether this is going to be, I presume this is going to be the Leonard Cohen version or Rufus Wainwright version. I don't think Alexandra Burke was out then. So I don't think it'll be her version. So it'll be interesting to kind of see what how he puts his song together. But it's a beautifully stunning song. Like, it, it's so awesome. Flying up on the plane, I was really nervous. I thought I was excited, I couldn't wait. I was just like, oh my gosh, all my mates and oh, my family. Uh, I arrived back at Coolangatta Airport. I was like, whoa, I'm back home. And then I started walking through the airport and looked down. I was like, oh my God. There's like all these people there. Oh. <laughs> then I started getting a bit emotional. I was just like crying. It was the best thing ever. It's good to have them back. They stay. It's almost fun going back, you know, back to my work and to the mall and stuff. Should I go home? <laughs> but uh, they're giving my job away. <laughs> Okay, yep. <laughs> Don't want to wait for me. One for my daughter, Michaela. Yep. It was a bit embarrassing, you know, that, that people were just like, oh my gosh, Dan. I love Dan's irresistible pout. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. 
<laughs> so to come home, you know, back to your life that you always lived in, it would be the same, but it's not. <laughs> life has changed now. Life has changed. You I guess this idol experience is just, it's so not just for me. It's a reward that my family gets as well. Gosh, we're so proud of Stan. I mean, far yeah. out, man. How proud, I'm so proud, eh? We're Māoris and um, we're brought up in music, you know, we sing at funerals, we sing at weddings, and sing and eat, that's our thing. <laughs> if I win idol, it's they win idol and we win idol. This is a together thing, like, I don't roll by myself, we roll together. Oh. Oh. Well, this song has been covered oh. over 200 times since it was first recorded by Leonard Cohen back in 1984. Leonard Cohen's Stan version. Walker, Hallelujah. I heard there was a secret call that David played, and it pleased the Lord. You don't really care for music, do you? Well, it goes like this the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major lift, the baffled king composing hallelujah. Wow. Hallelujah. 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 His voice, man. I love his voice. That was amazing. When he made that switch from that low note, that, oh, oh, that was beautiful. Stan, I have to tell you something. You know. Singers learn from other singers, and, and it's just so great to see a singer of your caliber in Australian Idol. And every time you stand on that stage, something very special happens. Yeah. And thank you so much for singing that song. Well yeah. done. Thank you. She's thanking him for singing that song. Right, I'm about to become the most unpopular person in the room. Uh, it's all right, bro. It's all right. I still love you. Actually, I've always been the most unpopular person in the room. <laughs> Stan, that started as a nursery rhyme. Your intonation, when you're in your lower register, has got to get better for sake of clarity. You finished that in a heavenly place and you felt that. You know, when you, when you let go and when you soared, I saw the joy and it was beautiful. Just watch, you did this last week, I know. Just watch your mouth sounds and shapes in your lower register, yeah? Yeah, I slew my words a little bit out. And try and look at that. That's <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how you say it, just yeah. make sure it comes out. And you know what? Yeah, You've so got another song, so make sure it comes out then. So it is, but thanks, Eves. <laughs> yeah. 
I so, mean, I, can't, I, I not feel even certain that I had it but, written into my contract that I never have to hear that song again. Ever. <laughs> so, but I'm glad that it slipped through the loophole because I think that was a nine out of ten performance. Yes. Yeah. 90% awesome. I've got to agree with Jay, though. You, you've got a really good range, but the bit down the bottom, it works to a point. You yeah. probably think it sounds warm and cuddly, but it's muddy and nondescript, yeah, and yeah. there's no way on earth you can start a big song like that so, in, in such a poor, poor fashion. Other than that, where it ended was glorious. Well done. Because yeah. <laughs> that was supposed to be a worst <laughs> Um, I kind of understand what they're saying. I did understand most of what you said, but it didn't really matter. I was head to tongue goosebumps, Dan. That was yeah. amazing. So, 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 hang on. Let me see how many more is left. I don't mind high enough. So, I wouldn't have probably picked up on it. Because I guess the thing is, right? Like, unless something is really starting to start, start, Startling. I'm startled. Startling. Startlingly. Startlingly. Really obviously, um, like, not great or not as good as something else. I think by the time that the song has, like, like not even gone that far past the beginning, like, like literally maybe 20 seconds, 30 seconds past that point, and then gone into the middle, and then gone into like the third, like the third bit, and then the final part, and whatever. You've kind of forgotten, I think, about that beginning part. But I suppose how it sounded, how how he formed the sound of that was probably not as clear, like as the rest of it was. Um, so I do kind of understand what they were saying about that. To be fair, to be fair to them, but um, it's something that I probably would have forgotten about because by the time it got through to the rest of the song, I was just so enamoured by all of it that I was just like, oh, I didn't even really remember that part. And like he said, it, it 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 it's good enough that it works. It's good enough that it worked. Potentially, listen back and li listen listening back to it, um, that may have been something to consider. But even that though, how you do that song and how you interpret that song. Considering, like I said, the song's been done so many times by so many people. And I didn't feel as though I'd heard that version done by anyone else, how he put it together, the arrangement of it, again, the creative choices he made. He made. So for me, it, 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 it did sound really stellar and really like he meant it as well, like with the lights and the harp and, and the guitar, like all of the different trappings that made up that song, I just thought were absolutely stunning. I really did. Um, so yeah, I'm really glad that it slipped for the net too, because that was really glorious to watch. Really, really good. Um, Oh my god, I'm enjoying this so much. I'm enjoying this so much. Um, okay, so this next one is Ain't No Man High Enough, like which I'm presuming is the Tammy the Tammy Terrell and Marvin Gaye. If you need me coming, no matter where you are, no matter how far, don't worry, baby. Um, okay, let's see what this is saying. I presume it's gonna be sick though. One performance left tonight. Stan Walker is returning to the style that got him here in the first place. Singing the Ashford and Simpson soul classic, Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Oh, Stan Walker. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah.
You know what? Even though I didn't necessarily love that performance, I can't help but love him. He's all cheesy mood. <laughs> like, I just, I can't help but love him. Stan, you, you sound like... Booyah. You sound like you've been singing that stuff all your life, you know? I mean, that's such an old standard and you just breathe so much life into it. And I love seeing you sing stuff that you just bounce around and you start dancing, the girls start screaming and all that stuff. <laughs> well done, Don. Thank you, girl. Okay, my one comment, and uh, this is in the same vein as, uh, how you going on the treadmill? You still doing that? No, I'm not going there. <laughs> Calm yourself. It's okay, it's All okay. Right. <laughs> no, We've um, got a bond. We've got a bond. Different. No, I haven't been on the gym. I've been so tired lately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the and this is the easy part. You wait till you've got to make a record. Right, that was glorious. There's no mountain that vocally you can't get over. If you could dance as well as you sing, I'd steal you, put you in my pocket and take you to the studio now. Work on that. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> Do you know what, it's, it's funny, you've been so versatile through all our different genre nights, I forgot you're a soul singer. And <laughs> it was so nice to see you do yeah. something that's home turf for Thanks you. To my roots. And it, look, he was, and uh, just got such a beautiful, beautiful voice, and that was just a terrific way to end the night. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. God bless you. Thanks to the band. I get what the judge is saying, the one about the dancing and stuff. Like, but I think this is what I was saying about it, like the moves being like quite cheesy and you know what I mean because, you know, the whole purpose of watching someone is that they're just they're just authentic in themselves. And I think to like Aurora, for example, Aurora has got this dainty, fairy, elven like way of dancing, moving around the place and stuff, which is very, very distinct to her. I, well, I feel it is anyway. Um, and to me, watching him as, I, can't remember, I don't know what any of the judges' names are, but what the lady was saying, watching him kind of bounce around, to me, it's like, I kind of like it because it's, it is just him. Like if he was having, if he was, you know, doing up Chris Brown and moves and whatever, but it looked contrived, it didn't look like it was him. I'd be like, hmm. But at the same time, I do appreciate that people need to evolve and people need to, you know, get better and and, and that kind of stuff. So, so I, I do see that he's, he's saying that with his best interests at heart. But I can only speak honestly. I honestly didn't look at that and think, I wish he would stop dancing. Like, I was just like, I'm, it just, it just warm. If anything, I kind of, um, again, his voice sounds great. Um, I just don't know, again, I just don't know if I liked the arrangement of the song that much, really. Um, um, yeah, I don't know, it, it just, it, I, didn't, I didn't love it. I think, for me, like I said, the, the one I've seen that I'm just absolutely still in love with is Purple Rain. I just, I just, I, I'm just so incredibly good. Um, so he set the bar very high for himself, but I think all the other ones I've seen so far, since then, have still been good, but I think that one's still been the best one for me. Um, but again, it's nice to see him so comfortable on the stage. So w whether that turns into him become what's that dance? What's that dance? That dance film with um Amarian and um you got served. Whether he turns into like one of those 
geezers or whatever. To me, it's fine. Do you know what I mean? Like, but give me authentic Stan all day and I'm here for it, whatever that looks like. Um, so this is Let Me Love You, which I think is from Mario. You should let me love you. Let me be the one to give you everything you want and need. Watch him. An absolute song. Um, so let's see what Stan walk. Oh, it's kind of isn't it? It's gonna be so good. <laughs> Got one more, I think the climb, and then the rest will do in part three. You should let me love you. Let this week I'm singing Mario Let Me Love You. Give you everything you want. And Miley Cyrus the climb. I kinda like that you chose a Miley Cyrus song because it takes balls. When you go out there on Sunday, you have to go kill it. There's no other way to do it. I can almost see it, that dream I'm dreaming but First he sang, I, I, I got chills. I was impressed. It was just soul, it's soul, you could hear it. Mm. It's one of those voices that I haven't heard in a long time. I have, they're very rare that I hear a voice like his. I mean, I think that be on the radio in America, you gotta, you gotta, are you willing to put the work in, you know? Yeah, like, right. I've learned and I've been through a lot of experiences and circumstances to know that I've got the strength to be able to see this out. My connection with Stan is with the odds. The odds are against him, just like they were against us. You know, no one in our family went to college. Nobody had careers, nobody had, and we had an opportunity to, take it. to get our family out of the whole, you know? I just feel like he's been up against a lot. And so he's one of those people that I want to see win. Last lives of the rich and the famous. Wow. But first, back in 2004, this song was top of the Billboard charts for over two months. Singing Let Me Love You from Mario. This is Stan Walker. I just loved that whole intro, that was great. Baby, you should let me love you, let me love you. Baby, you should let me love you. Yeah, I love you, love you. Baby, you should let me love you. Baby, I just don't get it. Do you enjoy being hurt? I know you smell the perfume, the makeup on your shirt. You don't believe in stories, you know that they're all lies. And I just don't know why Baby, you What I do Back to you Every night Doing your right Serve good things Hey, for real I just wanna show you your why Description looks so good that it hurts. You're a dime plus 99 to shame. Don't even know what you're worth. Everywhere you go, they stop and stare. Cause you're bad in the show. From your head to your toe, out of control, baby. You know. Okay. It's happening, it didn't have a bop in. It didn't have a bop in initially. So just before they give their, um, their thoughts. So my thoughts are, I 
Um, didn't realize it was going to be a remix. I don't know. Did, so, is this a remix that Mario actually came up with, or is this a remix that um, Australian Idol put together? Either way, um, you know, he came out in the starting blocks, ready to be like, yo, yo, yo. I mean, and it's just really interesting because I was literally just saying that, like, I ain't looking for him to be no Chris Brown. Do you know what I mean? Like, as long as he's comfortable. Um, and and I guess it's difficult because you with with a beat like that, you want performance, and I guess. You know, there's a lot going on. So, I, 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 I think I would have preferred to hear him do a really soulful version, acoustic. I think that's what I was hoping for. Um, so, having this kind of beat behind it, I was like, okay, cool. Um, and it kind of found a little flat for me. Kind of found a little bit flat. Um, not in terms of how he sang, um, but just the just what I got from the performance of it. But um, at the same time, like again, his voice could sing anything. Do you know what I mean? I just think I I just I just think I don't think that performance for me did him and his amazing instrument that kind of service. I don't know. And again, maybe in a recorded version. That would be the absolute ting, uh, and maybe in in not an auditiony competition scenario. But I didn't. I liked it. I just didn't love it. Is the, the best way I can kind of sum that up. I liked it, but I didn't love it. Damn! 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 damn. Stand, 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 stand. I want to talk to you and just say, most people, I would have just jumped up and down and done backflips and gone, wow, that was amazing. You know, your voice is amazing. The song choice I actually really like. The one thing that I'm confused about is the fact that you did the remix over the original on that. And I think it was a brave decision because I think for you, you got to about six and a half, seven. You know, most people, and everyone's going to be sitting there going, why? But there's more melody in the original. You know, unless you've got Jada Kiss coming on there and rapping with you, it kind of takes a little bit of the energy. So come back next time, give me a stand 10 out of 10, and then we'll all be good. Sweet. Thanks, mate. <laughs> I like the original better than the remix, but I tell you what, I love hearing you sing, man. And even though that wasn't my favorite song, I just like watching you sing, dude. So I, I give you a 10. <laughs> oh. Um, I don't know. I mean, from one rock star to another, because I, I think I definitely think you're a rock star for sure. Because, like, you you're in a competition and you walk around the stage like you could care less if you're here or not. And I like that because you got that swagger. Like, I I just like that. It's natural. You feel na it feels natural to me. You don't you know you watch other people and it seems like they're trying so hard. And for you, it just comes natural. I like that. So, I like it a lot. <laughs> Stan. Look, it's fair to say, nine times out of ten, you stand there and you give us a moment. Was that a moment for me? It was probably okay in the like, all-ages disco at the RSL in the community centre. It wasn't prime time Sunday night. For me, that was the R&B 101, treading water. You can't afford a night off at this stage. So it is right, that's all right. Stan, thank you for your funkiness. I dug it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dan, so I, how does it feel having Dicko be, well, let's face it, a little, a little harsh on you there? Do you think you deserve it or? No, it's all right. I've got, you know, I've, if, you don't, if they don't say anything, you know, to challenge me, then I've got nothing to work on. So I've got to keep on working on something. So, no, nah, it's you've all right. Got, you've got one side of the desk telling you that you're a rock star. You've got the other side of the desk telling you you, you know, should be at an RSL. I mean... <laughs> Which side do you think you're on, brother? Nah, it's, it's wicked. Like, I love comments like that because otherwise, if they don't tell me anything, you know, constructive, then I've got nothing to work on and I'll just be the same and I've got to keep, you know, I've got to keep on going. Well, obviously, these people absolutely, absolutely love you. Um, I don't think you quite realise, Australia, like, about ten minutes ago, Stan was backstage, tears in his eyes. Are you guys okay back there now that, um... I cry. <laughs> I, nah. I, I saw you. Um, <laughs> it's allergic reaction. You guys, uh, you guys okay? Um, 
You know, you, want, you didn't know that Toby was going to do that, did you? Oh, far out, man. Just want to say, Toby is the man, and if it weren't for him, I would not be who I am in this competition at the moment. He's just an amazing guy, man, and I just thank God for him. So I'm just freaking out that he did this, but, man, he's an awesome God, uh, guy, and I just praise God for that, so, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure who Toby is or who Toby... Um, I'm, I'm not sure, but, you know, it's really awesome that he gave him that. I think... It's really awesome, like I said, just trying to just actually getting some of the I'm gonna spend an hour, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, actually listening to some of the feedback. Um, because actually it's, it is interesting. You've got I don't know what that band is called. I know I recognise them, but I don't know what their names are. It's amazing that they're just like, you know, you've got swag of a rock star, uh, I'll give you ten out of ten and the and the two judges are like, mm, mm, mm. And I think you know from musician to musician from where they're coming from there's like yo you're gonna like outside this competition yeah because you're going to be bigger than this you've got what it takes so it doesn't really matter i suppose really um i suppose for them they're looking at each performance to be like 10 make 10 make 10 make 10 um and as i said for me as much as i love him and i love his voice i think it'd be disingenuous if i was like oh, i felt that was a 10 performance mainly because as well i probably don't like the remix I probably never really, I didn't know it was an official remix, um, but I mean the beat the beat was given until it wasn't. If that makes sense, the beat was given until it wasn't, um, and I think his point there about someone coming out and rapping on, over it to give it the energy, I think he's kind of right. But I think the original, I think would have given him more to do. Um, but then I suppose that's probably what he's going for because he's got this fast tempo song, and then he's got this kind of ballady pop song to sing. So. Okay, let's let's listen to that, and that will be the final part for this part. <laughs> it's Australian Idol. Thanks for watching. We're almost at the end of Naughty's Night. Our next performer has uh, picked the song just nice. this year. But when you think Stan Walker, Miley Cyrus is the first artist that springs to mind. She so, can sing though. Singing the climb by Miley Cyrus. This is Stan Walker. There's always gonna be another mountain I'm always wanna gonna make him move Always gonna be an uphill battle mm. Sometimes I'm gonna have to lose Ain't about how fast I'll get there Ain't about what's waiting on the other side It's the climb Can almost see it. That dream I'm dreaming, but there's a voice inside my head saying you'll never reach it. Every step I'm taking, every move I make feels lost with no direction. My faith is shaking. I can no more see it. that dream I'm dreaming and there's a voice inside my head you're gonna reach it. You I love that. I love that. I love that. 
Ooh, he meant those words. He meant it. That was sick arrangement, sick choices, sick delivery. Ooh. Stan, Stan, you know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I am actually lost for words. That, I, the one word that comes to, to mind for me. Is, um, I know you were worried about it and everything. We talked backstage. That was sublime, my brother. Mm. 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 Sublime. Nothing to say but sensational, you know? <laughs> when I was talking earlier, when I was talking earlier about a stand 10, that was a nine and point nine, you know, you're just that far off. And these torch songs, you just sing so well because there's such belief, there's such passion, you know, and that climb is not too far for you. You're this close. Stay focused. You're going to get there. Thanks, bro. Dude, I, I don't know what it is about you, dude. I don't, maybe it's your, your Kiwi accent that you got going on. But every... From the minute I met you, dude, I liked you, and and the first time you sang that song, and, and now you're the you're the the one person in, in this competition that actually makes me you make me want to sing R and B music when I listen to you sing. Wow, and, yeah, dude. Yeah. I, dude, I love hearing you sing, man. I love your voice. I love watching you sing. Just something about you, man. You you have a great voice. Thanks, bro. <laughs> You got soul. I, I love it. And uh, I, whether you win or you don't win, anywhere you're singing, I'll come watch you sing. I love watching you sing. Wow. wow. Keep it up, man. Thanks, man. Wow. Uh, look, I was wondering what was up with Stan tonight. Now I know he's just being Miley, isn't he? Yes. Yeah, so, so. Oh, look, I was, uh, I'm amazed that the moment has come tonight virus Miley sodding Cyrus song. She's I mean, the man. You know, She's mate, that was absolutely awesome. It wasn't as sugary as it could have been. I can't wait for next week when you do the Nicky Webster medley. It's going to be fantastic. <laughs> Thanks. Don't be, don't be so cruel, Nico. We love you, Nicky. I don't know who Nicky Webster is. Um... And that's where we're going to stop there. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I've got 14. I've got 14. Gosh, <laughs> that's going to be a lot. Um, that was really good. Um, and actually, this journey and watching him is its instrumental. I think it's really important. I think if you're going to rare anyone you need to know where they've come from and I think actually it's really sick to kind of see how many people have backed him previously what kind of songs he sang before what kind of risks he took um what he was comfortable doing what where and you know I'm not scared I've never been scared of giving my like honest opinion about anything when it comes to my channel because I feel like well if I was you watching this and I felt that somebody was being disingenuous with that, oh my God, well, everyone loves this person. Let me just say that I love it. Too. Like, I'm not watching that. <laughs> I want to go and watch Come Down With Me or <laughs> something. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to waste my time on, on a disingenuous person. Um, and I think it's really okay to not love everything from someone. Like, you know, you can love the essence of who they are and almost, you know, what they bring to a table. But it might not be that the delivery of that particular thing is always the best thing. Um, you know, I recently watched a Whitney Houston reaction, uh, a song that I reacted to, and I was not a fan. And that's that's Whitney Houston. Like, I, there's, there's very little of Whitney Houston, but I just wasn't really feeling it. And, you know, if you watch that reaction, you'll see why. But So, yeah, I think it's actually really good to kind of hear some of the things that maybe I wasn't as a fan of. But what's really telling to me, and that makes me know how much I love Stan Walker, is that even with the things I wasn't necessarily the biggest fan of, I still love his voice. Do you know what I mean? So you can take someone, Alexandra Burke is another great example. She's, um, she won the UK X Factor and she's got a killer voice. But some of the songs that she came out with were just not my cup of tea at all. Um, again, that's okay. 
you know what I mean? Because the, the voice is still sick. Um, and I think that was what I saw in some of those things. Um, that climb performance was amazing. Like, it, it, you know, it's pivotal. Um, it's relevant, like, do you know what I mean? To where he was going, the, the journey he was going on. But how awesome is it for me to sit here in 2024 having already now seen that he's won the show and he was singing that song not knowing he was going to win the show but he was talking about the climb and what's gonna you know it's gonna be an uphill battle and all that kind of stuff and he and he did it i mean that's sick um so for me hallelujah was really good that the climb was really good and purple rain so that has been really good as well um let me see i think was in there um yeah purple rain uh, we will rock you Circle of Life I thought was good as well um, um, I like Circle of Life um, I ain't about it high enough I, 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 mm, I, I didn't love it but I didn't hate it um, we will rock you probably didn't love it as much as the others um, didn't really love Let Me Love You um, but the climb I really liked so yeah, oh my god, looking forward to listening to Amazing Grace. That's gonna be good. How can you mend a broken heart? That's a tune. Oh, I can't wait for the next bit. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this with me. I can't believe it's been an hour and ten minutes. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like a, about four or five songs. Um, but I guess when you're watching each one and commentary and that kind of thing. But yeah, I'm loving this. I cannot tell you how much I'm enjoying going back and just seeing what a sweetheart he is as a person, how humble he is, how he takes on the criticism and the critique so humbly and and um, like an adult, do you know what I mean? Well, I don't know what he's like behind closed doors, but it seems to be that he is the same on stage and he's off stage. Um, love the fact that he's about his family and it's not about just him succeeding, it's about them succeeding. I just think he's just brilliant I think he's just great and this is fantastic and what a great journey so yeah if you did enjoy this with me please do drop me a like and subscribe that would be awesome um, not only if it tells me that you are enjoying this with me but also it kind of helps like the algorithms and all of the YouTube Google things I don't quite understand <laughs> understand um, but I am doing this full time now this is this is my job so um, if you do want to support the channel and myself, I would really appreciate it. I've got a YouTube membership, so you can be part of my channel. That'd be great, get all updates and stuff and get to interact with me more. Um, or I've got a Patreon, so all of my reactions, like full reactions and edited will be uh, on Patreon. And, and nine times out of 10, they're up there before, like a week before, if not like two weeks before and stuff. So you get access to a lot more on Patreon. Um, but if neither of those are options for you, then I'd also have a super thanks. Um, so as I say, anything big, small, little, whatever you want to support with, I'd be very, 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 very grateful. Um, but for now, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. <laughs>